Hey there! Today, we're going to dive into some insightful questions that can help you better understand and set your personal boundaries. There will be four questions with three sub-questions to really help you define your boundaries. So grab a pen and paper, or maybe your phone, and let's embark on this journey together. First question, what makes you uncomfortable? Take a moment to think about those situations or behaviors that make you feel a bit uneasy or stressed out. It could be anything from physical touch to certain topics of conversation. Write them down. Recognizing your discomfort is the first step in setting boundaries to protect your well-being. Now, let's dig a bit deeper. What specific actions or behaviors trigger your discomfort? Do you notice yourself feeling a bit off when someone interrupts you while you're speaking or invades your personal space? Maybe there are certain comments or jokes that just rub you the wrong way. Are there recurring situations where you feel uncomfortable? Is it those big group settings where you feel like you're being pulled in a million directions? Or maybe it's those one-on-one -on -one interactions with certain folks who just don't seem to get your boundaries? How do you typically respond when you're faced with these uncomfortable situations? Do you find yourself retreating and avoiding confrontation, even if it means putting your own needs on the back burner? Or maybe you tend to go above and beyond, bending over backwards to accommodate others, even if it leaves you feeling drained? Question two, what are your core values? Now let's talk about what really matters to you. What are those guiding principles and beliefs that light your path? Your boundaries should be rooted in these values, guiding your interactions and decisions. Think about what truly lights you up in life and how you want to be treated by others. Now let's dig a bit deeper. What values do you hold dear in your personal and professional life? Are honesty, integrity, and respect at the top of your list? Do you treasure your independence and freedom? How do these values show up in your relationships and daily choices? For instance, if trust and loyalty are a big deal for you, you might set boundaries around honesty and faithfulness. Are there times when your values are put to the test and how does it make you feel? You might feel a bit out of sorts when it feels like your core principles are being brushed aside or ignored. Question three, what are your limits? Now let's talk about boundaries in terms of your emotional, physical, and mental well-being. Recognizing when you've hit your limit is key to keeping your cup full. Understanding your limits helps you steer clear of burnout and keep a healthy balance in your relationships and daily life. Let's dive into it. What signs or signals tell you that you're reaching your limits? These signs can pop up emotionally or physically. You might find yourself getting more easily annoyed or stressed out, or maybe you're feeling more tired or tense than usual. How do you typically respond when you're nearing your limits? Do you push through, ignoring those signs of stress and exhaustion? Or maybe you're a pro at hitting the brakes and taking a breather when you need it most? Are there certain activities or situations that zap your energy more than others? Maybe it's those big social gatherings or those never-ending work tasks that leave you feeling drained. Question four, what are your deal breakers? Lastly, let's talk about those non-negotiables. These are the boundaries that protect your well-being and sanity. Whether it's disrespect, manipulation, or dishonesty, knowing your deal breakers empowers you to stand firm and advocate for yourself. Let's get into it. What specific behaviors or actions are a hard no for you? Maybe it's when someone constantly talks over you or belittles your opinions. Or maybe it's when folks invade your personal space without asking. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your deal breakers were crossed? How did you handle it? And what did you learn from the experience? By asking yourself these questions and really exploring your boundaries, you're taking a big step toward owning your space and your needs. But now that you've identified your boundaries, you may be wondering, how do you set them? This may come as a no surprise, but the most important thing is to communicate them. How would someone know that your boundaries exist if you don't express them? This could involve having open and honest conversations with friends, family members, coworkers, or romantic partners about what you're comfortable with and what you're not. Avoid assuming that others will automatically know your boundaries. Remember, we're all different. What is uncomfortable to you may be completely okay to others. Most importantly, be consistent when setting boundaries. Just because you said it once doesn't mean everyone will always remember or adhere to your boundaries. Consistency is key to reinforcing your boundaries and ensuring that others respect them over time. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tips on self-care and personal growth. Did you manage to learn something new about yourself today? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, take care.